You guys were at Target going crazy for the dollar spot stuff, but I saw this in the Valentine's. Look at this. They go together. You're my and it's guacamole. two halves of an avocado. I can't. And the bananas. <laughs> They're stuck together. So freaking cute. Good morning. It is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year for everyone watching because it'll be after New Year's when I post this. Um, I am doing extra glow today. I mean, can we talk about this? highlight <laughs> it's Ofra's highlight I will link it down below it is one of the best highlights of all time and I forgot about it and then I pulled it back out today I'm like 2020 highlight because <laughs> it's amazeballs right can, can we just can we just focus on that anyways I'm doing extra glowy eyes and a little more drama today, even though I am going to work for half the day. We have a half day, both Chris and I, and we're going to carpool still. And I'll vlog when we're in the car later, because I think Gab will be with us too. Finishing up my makeup, I still need to do my brows and liner and all that jazz. Um, I'm finally starting to feel better. I probably still sound a little sick, but I'm definitely doing a lot better. Sudafed and sinus cold. What is it called? Advil cold and sinus. For the win that is how i got better um where i'm getting better not all the way better gavin had a um, sinus and ear infection we took him to the <clears throat> like doctor what was that a couple days ago he's on antibiotics and i was like really worried that i was gonna get the same thing because i'm prone to that but knock on wood where's the wood knock on wood I don't think I have that. I think I just had a cold. Anyways, like I said, it's New Year's Eve and I will show you what's on my eyes. So I have MAC Soft, excuse me, MAC Soft Brown in my crease. Little bit of this bad boy in my outer corner. I forget what this one's called. It's also for MAC and I can't, I can't see the name of it. It's like a really dark purpley brown. And then I have a little bit of this on my lid, but in pink champagne, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then the majority of my lid is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Shadow in the shade Talia. This bad boy right here. It's so pretty. Okay, it looks really bright in camera, but I promise you it's a little more dramatic in person. Um, but not too extra because we're not doing anything crazy for New Year's Eve. Like, we're not going out to party or anything. Um, it's my stepdad's birthday on New Year's Eve. So I always feel like, you know, like I want to stay home with family. I've gone out when I was younger, like in my early 20s um, on New Year's Eve. But I just always feel like it's important, you know, to be a family on their birthday. The Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Bourbon. I'm trying to use it up, can you tell? I really did, a, I feel like pretty proud of myself this year. I did not really buy a lot of makeup. I really was good and mindful about my spending in that regard. Not so much with the Ray Dunn spending, um, but with makeup spending. <laughs> and I've used up quite a bit of makeup this year. So I'm really proud of myself. And I still got to try a lot of new makeup too, like you know, like the Urban New Urban Decay stuff and a bunch of other stuff. So I feel like I'm still, in the know, but just not buying every single thing that's new and out there. Um, growing up, folks. And, oh my gosh. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about, the show You. I think I've already talked about this show before when the first season came out, but Chris and I have been watching the second season. It's so crazy, but so good. I've been watching a lot of like psychopaths Remember I talked to you guys about Dear John, um, or is it called Dirty John? I think the the book or the podcast is called Dirty John, and then Dear John is the show. Um, but yeah, that was like a crazy guy, and now 
I'm watching you and he's kind of a psychopath. <laughs> I don't know, but I really do like it. It's good. It's just very interesting. I think I find it really interesting too because I have a degree in psychology. I have a bachelor's of science in psychology, a minor in bio if you're curious. Um, I went to ACO, but I've always found the human mind so fascinating. All right, in the car, ready to go. Got my fuzzy soft sweater on from American Eagle. And here's the completed makeup look because I didn't show you the completed one. Put my hair up because didn't wash it. <laughs> Gonna be real with you guys. Probably looks it. Does it look bad, babe, my hair? No. It's been worse. I like to tell you know that. <laughs> Oh, I got lipstick on my teeth. A lot of lipstick on my teeth. Okay, better. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? He literally just put that hoodie on. He did not have that on. Gavin's thing now is he has his hoodie on like every vlog. Or his hood, I should say, not hoodie. So we're here at Mama B's and Papa B's. It's his birthday today. And having some margaritas to use this mix. Not margaritas. Oh, I mean pina coladas. Oh my god! I guess I'm already drunk, and I just had a sip. <laughs> <laughs> pina coladas. I can, Dad, strategically, the lamp is over your face. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Malibu and some pina colada mix. Did you want stuffing? Uh, sure. Broccoli. Uh, yes. What a spread. Okay. One. Oh, you're to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to Dad. Happy birthday to you. Take a good wish, honey. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Oh, Mama B made him a sherry cake at his request. It smells very delicious. It's a tradition to have 12 grapes by midnight, at the minute of um, before midnight. So we got our 12 grapes, me and Chris. Well, this is what happens. It's not even midnight yet, this is Gavin. Oh, <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> the video is on, you know. <laughs> Yay, happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs> what was that? What's Gavin doing in the background? I don't know, disturbing. <laughs> Goose. This is going to be 2020, folks. <laughs> We've already had fun at Mama B's and celebrated the New York New Year's, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. AKA 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. 9 a.m. We're celebrating the Chinese New Year. But we're actually going to stay up to the night at home, too. That's why we got our little hats on. Lucy says, Happy New Year! Wait, Lucy! Happy New Year, everybody! Give her a hat. Yeah, Lucy doesn't like hats, though. She doesn't like clothes or hats. Good morning! Happy New Year! It is 2020. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's another decade. So crazy. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot better, just like a little congested still. So today I'm going to do a lot of editing, a little bit of cleaning up, set some goals and resolutions for the new year. Um, nothing major, just like some points for me and the family and just like, you know, general goals. I don't think I'm going to do a resolution video this year because it's nothing like crazy major. I definitely plan to do a weight loss video for you guys. Like just kind of going over all the details of what things have helped me, um, with my weight loss journey and being healthy in general. Look at Chris's new Smithy radio. I should have showed you the before. Literally had a tape cassette <laughs> area and a CD player. It was but a cassette CD changer. It's top yeah. of the line back in 2002. Yeah. <laughs> but this is one of his Christmas presents from his parents. And he installed it himself, which I think that's pretty hot that he can do that himself. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's really, really nice, and the sound quality is insane now in the car. Because he has both speakers. Yeah, yeah. both speakers. And navigation. Oh, it's the Apple Bluetooth thing, right? What's it called? Uh, oh, why am I 
Apple, Apple Play. See, I messed you up. It's because you were thinking blue, because yeah. I said blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently editing my Target's Valentine's Dollar Spot haul. I should have it up by now, and if not, then it will go up shortly if I have it already up i'll make sure to link it down below for you guys but there are so many cute things this year hey guys i totally haven't vlogged all day so you didn't get to see my cute dress even today this one's from um american eagle and we're about to go to dinner and see jumanji right babe yes yes hey <laughs> i always just turn the camera on him and, and forget to tell him that i'm vlogging um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Sauce for dinner. Sauce. Sauce. So we're trying the pizza out here for the first time. We always get the pasta. So we're having the pepperoni mushroom. And we got thin crust. <laughs> he was wanting a cheese bowl, but that didn't work out so well. <laughs> and we also got Caesar salad, but it hasn't come yet. These are the new Harkins loyalty cups for the year. Can you guess all of the movies on here? That's obviously Mulan. There's gonna be a, um, maybe it's not movies for the year, but that's definitely SpongeBob. I think there's, is that supposed to be Jaws? I don't know, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys. It's interesting because they look like little apps that they're supposed to be about the movies. By the way, it's now $2 refill instead of a $1.50 refill. They keep raising it 50 cents every year, kind of annoying. Hey, it's Saturday midday. I'm about to go to Hobby Lobby, possibly Michael's, grocery shopping with Mama B. And Chris is at his, his mom's. I almost said his mama because I said mama B. His mom's Gavin's with him as well and Lexi. Um, and we'll have family dinner later tonight. But I wanted to take you with me on our little shopping adventure for the day. And then I have to edit, not have to, but I want to edit the honeymoon vlog finally for you guys. I was just talking about it on my Insta story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to have lots of fun changes and a lot of of activity going on there and I really um, respond a lot better on Instagram. I'm really trying to be better at answering all all questions at least on my comment section on YouTube and on DMs and stuff like that. Um, but that can take that can sometimes take hours and I really try to be better at that. Um, but sometimes it's a little more difficult now that I want to be in the moment with my you know family with my husband and and son with Gavin and Sometimes it just gets hard to be on my phone, you know, answering questions and stuff, but I promise I will try to be better at that. I used to be so good at that. So I'm really going to try to get better at that this year. And because I love you guys and I appreciate every single one of the comments and hearts and likes that you give my videos and, and Instagram. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to say that very quickly and I am going to be out the door right now. Very minimal makeup. I just have concealer on and a little bit of blush and some mascara. I didn't even curl my lashes. That's why they look a little. My lashes are pretty long, but they, um, so you can kind of see right there. They're really long, but they go pin straight. Yeah. Okay. We're at Michael's. I'm with Mama B. It's very bright and cheery. Oh my goodness, 60 Is this bucks? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait till it's 40% off. Look how pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> That's funny. This is us. She said she also thought it was crazy. Cool. Yeah. That looks very beachy. Yeah. I love this too. Family is this everything. This too. It's his home. Yeah. They'll probably put this on 40% oh, later. them first these are cute we have too many cute signs in our laundry already but oh i love this mom laundry today or naked tomorrow i think naked better <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many cute country things in here i love this for the bathroom okay now we're at the dollar general I think the galvanized one here. Okay. 
okay, we're at Hobby Lobby and they have way more cute things. Look at these little hearts that are Buffalo Jack. These little heart bowls and little heart houses. They have little miniature ones too that light up. These spatulas are super cute. They say made with love. They come in red and pink with hearts on the other side. And they're $4.99. Nothing's on sale yet. These cute pot holders. You guys, look how stinking cute. Loads of love. Cute for if you do a hot cocoa or a coffee, three tier tray. What are you looking at? Valentine pops? For the office. Are they hearts? Yeah, they're charm spots. These are all cute too. Love you like crazy. Yeah. I like you are my person. Yeah. Too many cute things. So these are perfect for a three tiered tray. These are super heavy. They're like a wood block and they're little picks. And they have a ton of them that look like conversation hearts. And they also have these. They're a little lighter. And they have a bunch of different ones. the Valentine's so now we're looking at the cute country stuff look how cute I like and this mama one. B really likes this one for her house because she's got it. roosters in her house yep. I, my friend Janet loves piggies so I think she needs to get this for her kitchen you're baking me crazy and there's a cow one heard that <laughs> you can hang these in the kitchen they're so cute this is cute too for napkins oh yeah that's cute too except they might fall over if they're too big yeah. is the only problem more cows and I like these there's one that says flour and coffee too Let's see here's the smaller one this just says coffee all right just got back from the grocery store put everything away but I wanted to share with you what I found at the Dollar Tree I think I said Dollar General earlier it was Dollar Tree and one item from um, Hobby Lobby. So this one item is a napkin holder and it's so country and cute, I love it. Chris might end up killing me because it's galvanized metal. <laughs> but it's so cool, it's like perfect. We always um, have like our napkins scattered around the table so I just thought this was perfect to hold our napkins in place and I've been on the hunt for something like that, so. Really happy to have that, and it was 40% off today, so I think actually Mama B ended up getting one exactly like it, because we have very similar um, aesthetic going on in our home, so we both have like farmhouse country. So I got some Valentine's goodies at the Dollar Tree. First, I got some cards for the kids and Chris. I'm not going to show you them, but let me just say that they have a ton of really cute cards for 50 cents to a dollar, and yeah. I always get my cards there now, it's so awesome. This ribbon I purchased for my canisters, my Raydon canisters, I put little ribbons on the top of them um, each holiday, so I thought these were so, so cute. Each of these were a dollar. This little wood sign, I thought it's, I thought it was really great quality for a dollar. And it says, bless your heart. The heart is raised a little bit. Um, 
you could definitely totally make this, but I don't think that you can make it for a dollar, that's for sure. Um, and stuff like this was selling for $3.99 and up at Hobby Lobby. So I think that's a really good find. They had a couple different styles, but this one fits our aesthetic the most here in the home, so I love that. They had these adorable little heart boxes of chocolates. Now, I did end up getting a couple of these, not just one. Um, they're actually in the bag over there for my coworkers for Valentine's Day. But I just Day. thought these were so, so cute. It says Happy Heart Day with the pink, little pink Valentine truck. And yeah, just so country and cute. I love it. I might even use one as a display piece too in my hutch because it's just so stinking cute. So I couldn't resist these at Hobby Lobby, the made with love little, these aren't spatulas, but you know, for baking to clean the sides of the bowl and all that jazz. Um, I've always baked more than I've cooked in my life, but now that I have a family, I cook a lot more. But anyways, I always appreciate these, especially these are awesome because they have a rounded corner and a straight edge, which believe me, if you bake a lot, you know why that's important. It's really nice to get every little bit out. I've gotten some glitter on these, but these mostly are gonna be for Valentine's display in the kitchen, but I do plan to have a Valentine um, recipe, like a sweet treat recipe coming in the very near future for you guys. So I will use these in that video, but I just thought they were so, so cute. Okay, next thing from the, oops. Next thing from the Dollar Tree was this sign that says, love you more and i just thought it was so cute it has a lot of good details and i'm gonna put this in the front door area i'll show you when i go put that up there now this sign another one i feel like is way better quality than a dollar it's like a really nice thick wood material it says happy valentine's day it has like a burlap on the part that says valentine's it's just so cute i love that and then I couldn't resist this truck. This truck is going to go in probably my hutch area. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day. Lots of red glitter. And it's a Valentine's red truck. I mean, how could I resist that? <laughs> so that's, oh, I almost said that's all. But I also got a few of these little heart um, bouquets. And each one of these little clusters was a dollar. And you will see what I plan to do with those in the very near future. Again, related to decor in the house. All right, that is it for now. I need to start making dinner before the boys get home. You guys, I feel like I have Farrah Fawcett hair or something. I just used my Dyson for the first time, my Dyson hair dryer and styler. This little baby right here, the freaking coolest hair tool I've ever used in my entire life. Now, I'm sure these curls will calm down a little bit, um, but it, to me, it reminds, it reminds me a lot of hot rollers um, did any of like you guys use hot roller rollers at any time in your life? My mom used to use hot rollers and then I used them in um, I think high school. But that's the look that it feels like to me. It's like really soft curls. And yeah, we'll see how it lasts throughout tonight. Definitely gave me some really good volume. Um, yeah, my hair feels great. It doesn't feel like super heated. Look at my ends too. Do you see this? Guys, I think this is gonna save my hair, this dryer. I am not sponsored whatsoever. I got this for Christmas. And look how shiny my hair looks. Wow, I really like this. So, so far, I would give it two thumbs up and I will continue to share with you guys. So I ended up using this paddle brush first um, to just get most of my hair dry because you're only supposed to have damp hair for the curl part. And I will share like a tutorial with how you have to use this very soon. I, did, I didn't want to um, put it on camera right when I'm first trying to use it because I knew I'd have to cut a lot of footage out. <laughs> and um, so now that I know how to use it though, I could totally show you guys. I can't get over this. Can't get over that a hair dryer made my hair look like this.